Welcome back everyone to yet another Revel Point video. Happy to have you here with us today. So today we're going to be going over some new happy news. We have the Metro X out on the table. Something new with Metro X right now is that it has accelerated GPU. What does that mean? It's just going to make your scanning that much more smooth and faster. So it's going to help you collect those point clouds much quicker and it's going to be less laggy. So just altogether a nicer scan. So you're really going to enjoy that. We're going to go over that a little bit. Also, as you can see, I have the large turntable out on the table here. Large turntable is nothing new. We've used it before many times, but what's different now is you can now hook it up to Revel Scan 5 and use it in auto turntable mode. So we've done that before with a dual axis turntable, but now you can do that with a large turntable. The benefit is because it's the large turntable, you can put much larger items on it and use it in auto turntable mode. So we're going to do that using the steering wheel, but then we're also going to use laser mode, 14 cross lines and capture the steering wheel with that as well. And that'll be of course with large turntable manual mode. So we're going to show you how to do it with auto and manual and the benefits of that. And then we're going to take those two results of the technology in Metro X that is laser mode, 14 cross lines, and full structured light, and we're gonna merge those two items. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's have some fun and get into it. All right, so I just prepped the steering wheel with all the marker accessories, as you can see, because we're gonna be using, first of all, laser mode, 14 cross lines. You need to be using markers with that. Put the small balls, the tricky parts are gonna be around the handles here. So I put the, the ball accessory, marker accessories around the handle area. Then we have a mixture of the half domes and the pyramids on the inside. And I even added a few six millimeter marker dots to the actual steering wheel itself. And something else I wanna bring out here. So yeah, I have cross lines selected, marker tracking. But for object type, keep this in mind. Maybe you would look at this originally and think, well, this is just a general object. Actually, it has a shine to it. So I suggest that you should um, select metallic shiny object. Yes, this is not metallic, but it's shiny. So it's still gonna get a better result if you select metallic shiny. And again, we're now demonstrating with the large turntable manual mode. We're gonna use the auto version, auto turntable later with a full structured light, but this is manual. So turn it on and just make sure you turn the speed all the way down. You do that with the remote. So you just want it rotating nice, nice and slowly. So that's all the way down there. And again, I mentioned that Metro X has accelerated GPU. There's nothing more to say besides the fact of now you'll see how fast it captures and it's not gonna be laggy and it's gonna be collecting that point cloud really smoothly. And as you can see the FPS on the screen, 57, it's gonna stay around there. That's all because of the accelerated GPU. All right, let's get into it. Let's scan this and see how it goes. And this is what I'm talking with, about with Accelerate GPU. I'm noticing it right away. It's a joy to use. It's a much faster response. So you'll notice that immediately when using it. Now for the actual handles on the steering wheel, so I'm, 
I suggest kind of pausing it at these moments because they can get tricky. I have those extra marker balls placed on each side of the handle and I added some marker docks themselves. But because they're just kind of hanging out there, there could be some lost tracking. So that's why it's good to just give it a little more time. Pause it. Make sure you're capturing the shape of it well, the point clouds, before you turn the turntable back on. So just do it one at a time. So again, the benefit of using this large turntable here, and this is just manual mode while using laser 14 cross lines, I can just be more stationary. I don't have to be running around the steering wheel. I can just hang out right here and just move my hand pretty much and arm a little bit. <laughs> this makes for a very not too strenuous scan session. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let's process it. Yeah, the point clouds, as you can see on the handle, the handles are what I was most worried about, but capture them pretty well. All right, run it through fusion.
Nice, yeah, the point clouds are looking right, looking really good. So I'm gonna just use our selector tool on the side. I love the one that you can just slice right through the center. And of course, flip it, delete that. Now do some isolation, it should be able to detect those markers in the middle just fine as it did, perfect. Mesh it. Awesome. Yeah, very satisfied with that. Capture the details of the steering wheel quite well. So I'll, I'll leave it with that then for now. So then now we want to try scanning with the actual auto turntable mode. So that's going to be using the full structured lights, not the laser 14 cross lines. And then we're going to take those two results and merge it. But first of all, let's get this all cleaned up and let's give it a try with the auto turntable mode. 